Hi everyone! This time I decided to make a webtoon girl. She is Shelly Scott from a webtoon called Windbreaker, one of my favourite. I'm focusing on making her look like hand drawn as much as I can. I actually searched a lot of her expressions but she doesn't have that much. A lot of comments asked me where I got a point at the very start. I simply add a plane and match vertices in edit mode and start extruding. I used a different face modeling which is a complete different method from what I normally do. I'm really excited and hope to look good at the end. Right now I'm moving vertices in side view to match the shape. It is a bit hard to do so, try to match the shape. Then I smooth everything with a slight relaxed brush in sculpt mode. But wait, before we move on, I want to tell you guys that I will upload short tutorials and breakdown videos like this on this main channel. I'm gonna upload full timeless videos on my brand new channel, which is Kumo's Time Lapse. So subscribe to this channel as well, it will help me a lot. For those who want to watch real-time videos, I upload on my Patreon, you can access to the Discord. I am also thinking to make a course, so let me know what you think. It is hard to find a reference, especially the side face. In Wapsoon, mostly they show front and one third view. In anime, they have like, a fixed hairstyle in which a lot of Wapsoon and others don't have. So in here, I shouldn't follow to the reference because the character spec is way too bent. I'm making the ear more details to look like the character. At this point, her head is really terrible, and that's how you know your model will look good. By any chance, you lost your motif by looking at your model. Adding base color to a model is always a good way to help you know how your model is going to look like. Always try adding eyelashes and eyebrows as fast as you can, otherwise you'll see an alien face. Before we move on to the hair, uh, I want to show you guys a drawing tablet that Huion Company has sent me. So I'm going to unbox this and show you guys what's inside. I'm going to take out the tablet for now, we're going to get back to it later. The tablet came with a stand. This is a tiny manual. The stand is easy to adjust the angle. I really like this all black color theme. Here's a stunt for the Pam and it really looks like a cute donut. I mean it is a cute donut. It has extra nibs inside. The nib extractor and 10 extra nibs, 5 or black plastic nibs and other 5 looks like grey nibs. They're made of felt and felt improves the friction between the nib and the surface of the screen to give you more feeling of drawing on paper. This little box has a glove and a quick start guide with all the instructions. You can connect the tablet with your phone or other tablet and also nice and soft cleaning cloth. And now let's go to the band. It is a battery free, it has 60 degrees tilt support and about 8192 pressure sensitivity. It has Pontac 3.0 technology and it supports fiber material. Next, we have cables. This is 3 in 1 connection cable, USB extension cable, USB C to USB C cable, and USB C to USB cable for power or power adapter. This is the main cable for the tablet. On one side, we have HDMI and two USB cables that go to the computer. And on the other side, we have these two smudge cables that connect to the tablet. Coming back to the tablet, with grey metallic on the back made of aluminium alloy. The tablet is very thin. The display has 2.5K resolution and the viewing angle is 178 degree, which is amazing. 
The tablets are seven freskies, you can customize them and it is very easy to do with the driver. I tested on both 2D and 3D and I really love it. The screen looks amazing, the colors are great, really nice to draw, everything works really nice. And thank you Huion for sending me this tablet. For the hair, I tried a little bit different. Shelly's hair has more hair lines, so I have to add a lot of uh, small hair curves. But instead, I duplicated in edit mode to get more hair in one curve. I also add base color to the hair and add a subdivision modifier. I reduced the curve for the back here. We don't need much. Moving on the texturing, I start by filling the base color. I draw the eye because the eye is the key to the face. That's why I texture the eye first. I am adding red tint around the eye, also on the eyelashes and eyebrows. Then I draw the nose. And for the lips, I select the faces and fill in the color and fill the color, softly paint the face color to get the lips shape. After that, I paint more red on the lips and adding details. Painting the highlight on the lips to get juicy lips. I paint the shadow inside the eye to get more contrast. I added the black shadow which you can see in a lot of webtoon and manga. Uh, for the hair, again, I added base color and the solidified line art. Instead of drawing hair lines and texture, I used grease pencil to draw the details. I also added shadow on the hair a little bit. I guess it turned out good. If you want to watch the fuel time lapse, watch it on my new channel. Also subscribe if you haven't, that will help me a lot. Thank you so much for watching.